So with a hydrogen vehicle, uh, what you have is our gas containment devices. So we store pressures normally in your fan, 350 bar of hydrogen. And that's regulated down to about 12 bar on average. Um, and then what happens is it goes through the fuel cell. And essentially what you get out of that is water and electricity. The role that uh, Swayze Lock products play for the Luxfor system is to bring together the gas cylinders for the CNG or the hydrogen application into a manifold, so it, in effect it's a delivery system. So the future for hydrogen powered vehicles is moving very fast. The reason for this is governments are really investing more in supporting the development of hydrogen infrastructure, refueling stations and development of vehicles. It's not just about getting vehicles out there, it's about getting the fueling stations out there, it's about getting people trained on how to handle hydrogen, how to use it, how to fill it, how to maintain the buses that are out there. The Jive is an initiative to bring the price of fuel cell buses down to more of an affordable level um, by 30% uh, for about uh, 850,000 US dollars. But for us to do this, we need companies like Luxfer um, or the fuel cell supplier and we need to be working with companies like Swayze Lock to bring that down. There's been a significant investment in the EC79 approvals. Um, you know, they are, they are costly, costly to uh, obtain and costly to upkeep. The programme involved probably 15 to 20 people uh, and produced uh, a, you know, an outstanding result uh, for Luxfer gas cylinders and their end customers. EC79 is a requirement for um, hydrogen vehicles and what we did for Luxfer was we started to talk to them about how we could bring in that certification within a period that was going to allow them to meet their customers obligations. I think it was around about 12 months after that first initial meeting that we um, that we actually got that type of approval. Um, what our customers told us was the impossible, it couldn't be done. So Asia Manchester has actually as he's done it. We have a new technology called FK. The FK fitting actually has and works on a twin ferrule system which is also gaugeable and also can be pulled up by torque. So uh, manufacturers, especially the automotive um, industry, they like that Swayze Lock twin ferrule fitting. The main reason being it's the installation, the ease of installation. The fact that you've got that one and a quarter turn it's great for them. Innovation for, for Luxford is, is a key thing. The, the market is moving very quickly. Uh, they have to ensure that they, they keep pace and that they're providing solutions to, to their customers. I mean, for example, I think it was last week actually, we, uh, we got a new tender for 30 buses, um, but we had to deliver them buses in six weeks. Within 24 hours, Swayze Lock had the fittings on the Nottingham site for us. Swayze Lock Manchester have very proactive uh, approaches with Luxfer to make sure uh, we are in a position to supply products as and when Luxfer need them, and we work proactively with them on forecasting uh, with their end customers. Well, hydrogen is probably the only zero emission fuel completely throughout the process. Um, what they say is, uh, especially with electric, it's a good example. It's, they say it's a zero emission at the tailpipe. But then you've got to ask yourself that question is how are they going to make that electricity to charge that bus? More than likely, it's being made to a coal fired uh, power plant. Well, hydrogen is just completely zero emissions, and we have an abundance of it. Two thirds of the world is made of water, hydrogen is made from water. So I see the real future has got to be hydrogen because it's the only way we can go zero emissions completely.